Post types, in a broad sense, are the various content formats that appear on your website. Out of the box, WordPress includes five posts, pages, attachments, revisions, and navigation menus. Each post type has its own taxonomies, which are parameters that help you organize content into groups. Custom post types, on the other hand, are content formats that are not included in WordPress by default. Essentially, custom post types enable you to structure content in ways the default options don't allow for. Now, let's learn how to create them in WordPress with or without a plugin. If you are a complete beginner or you just need a quick solution, you can use tools such as custom post type UI, pods, or post types order to get the job done. In this tutorial, we're gonna use the custom post type UI plugin. After you've installed and activated it, head on over to the CPT UI tab and then click on add edit post types. Next, create your custom slug that will appear in the URL. For instance, album dash reviews. Then enter the plural and singular names of your custom post type. In this case, it should be album reviews and album review. If you scroll down, you can mess with the additional labels and there's also a settings section where you can check the functionalities that you want to include in your custom post type. This includes enabling comments, displaying the author, and more. Once you're happy though, scroll back up to the top and click on add post type. Now, if we look on the left-hand side, we could see our brand new post type, which is album reviews. To add a custom taxonomy, navigate to CPT UI and click on add edit taxonomies. Now we'll populate the field with our custom URL slug and label names. Again, you could do additional labels and settings, but for us, we just wanted to make sure that we're attaching the post type album reviews, and we're gonna go ahead and add our taxonomy. Now, when editing content under our custom post type, we see genres on the right-hand side. You can repeat this process to add more custom post types and custom taxonomies as you please. While using a plugin is quick and easy, you do risk losing your custom post types if you ever need to deactivate it. If you wanna be in full control of your content, then using code and a child theme may be a better solution. First up, we're gonna go over to appearance and theme editor. Then we're gonna select functions.php. We're going to add the following code and place it within the PHP tags. By the way, this code is available in the blog post linked in the video description, so you can easily copy it. This is the step that defines your custom post type, so be sure to actually substitute album-reviews with your own label. Now, if we look to the left-hand side, there is our custom post type, album-reviews. Now we're gonna go in through FTP to our WP-content folder, themes folder, the current theme we're using, and we're gonna create a new file. I'm going to title it page-album-reviews.php. But of course, you'll wanna replace album reviews with your custom post type's name. We're gonna copy this code as the starting point for our file so that WordPress recognizes it's a new template. Then we're gonna copy the code from page.php to keep the design consistent. And then we wanna look for the loop, which looks like this. Once you find it, we're gonna replace it with this code. Now we should be able to publish content under our custom post type, which as you can see, works perfectly fine. And there you go. Now you know how to add custom post types with a plugin or manually. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.